Allison here and it's time for me to pull my next prompt for my version of the 20 project. This is something that has been inspired by Shamel Lane's latest class. Now this is the link here if you would like to go and sign up for her class. Um, I think the sign up is still open. I know the class is going on right now, but it's a type of thing that you can join in at any time or um, at, even after the class is gone or not live, um, the prompts are still there. So highly recommend it. Um, in fact, I recommend all of Chamel's classes. Um, I am always learning tons and this one is, is really fun and it's at a good price point. So, okay, let's see what the jar holds today. Use fabric on my layout. This is very appropriate because right now um, I have been teaching my daughters how to sew and um, it's been it's been challenging for them um, but they're doing very well and um, I will have a post on Wednesday sharing the projects that they have been working on um, so yeah and I also have a stack of fabrics again from my Stampin' Up! days um, I just have a ton of, of stuff left over from that that time in my life that I'll probably never get through. But anyways, um, I have a ton of fabric. In fact, let me show you my stash. That's it. Whole basket full of fabric. Um, it's gorgeous fabric and I keep thinking that I'm gonna be doing something with it. Uh, you know, make little fabric yo-yos to sell or, or something, and I, I just never do. So I'll have to pick something out of this basket and use it on a layout. Uh, so um, I will pick all my supplies and get some photos and figure out what fabric I'm going to use. And um, we will go from there. Hey guys, it's Allison here, and I am getting ready to actually make my layout um, using the prompt that I pulled out of my jar, which was use fabric on a layout. Um, I pulled out my daughter's um, album. I figure for this 20 project, as long as I can, um, I will just work through um, Marley's first year album, and then that's one less thing on my to-do list. Um, so uh, yes, so I've pulled out her album because I want to take a look at what at the layout that I made for her one month picture and then um, see how I could make a layout that will coordinate with it, not you know match it exactly, but definitely coordinate so it doesn't it, it's not jarringly different, yet will work with the pictures I have of my daughter at two months old. These are the pictures I have and you will see blue is the dominant color. She's wearing a bit of purple, but the uh, little bouncy chair that she's in is blue and her car seat is blue. Um, so and those are the only pictures I have from that particular day, which kind of goes completely against all the pink in the other layout. But what I have done is I've pulled a few things. I've, I've pulled um, some of the, the yellow and, and pink fabrics from my stash and I grabbed a piece of dark pink cardstock. It closely matches this pattern piece um, from the Chamel Starshine line. And now I'm trying to think of how I can add the fabric to this um, layout in a unique way. Um, I will insert a couple of pictures into this video showing you some ways that I have um, added fabric to layouts in the past. So you see that I've used them um, as a big uh, element in the background and I've layered them a bit like treating them like paper. This time I think what I'm going to do is I'll treat it a bit like paper. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to treat it a bit like paper, uh, like a piece of pattern paper, and then also um, I'm going to use them in my embellishments. So um, this yellow chevron, I'm going to cut a piece of this 
as if it were a piece of patterned paper that I was laying over top of this cardstock to get that dark frame around the edge. And I'm going to use my sewing machine and sew this in place. I'll tack it down in a few places with some, um, some tape or double-sided adhesive or whatever I can find. Um, I think I'll also give it a bit of an iron. I don't necessarily want all those creases in it. And then I will haul out my sewing machine and sew it down. So once I get that done, um, I'll come back and we can work on some little embellishments with the other bits of fabric. Okay, I have trimmed and sewn my fabric to my cardstock. There happened to be hot pink um, thread in the sewing machine, so I decided to just leave it. On the back, I just pulled my threads through and used a bit of washi tape to secure them. And now I am ready to figure out the rest of my layout. Um, I know I've got these two photos and I've got my journaling card um, that is part of a set that's going to be going through the whole entire album. And um, I also brought back, this is the wash tape that I actually used um, to secure the threads on the back, but it was also the wash tape I used on the one month layout. So I brought that back just in case I want to use it and I also have the um, fancy washi tape. This is um, from Chanel Star, Star Shine line. Um, I used this on the other layout as well. This would definitely um, give more prominence to, to this particular side of the layout. Um, but what I need to figure out is how to work in some of these other fabrics. Um, I thought I could stick them down to some paper, just um, scraps of cardstock and maybe um, die cut them into some shapes. So um, maybe maybe a label, maybe hearts. Um, I'll have to take a look at my shapes and see what would be best. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So in the end, I decided to use my big butterfly dies. I have this set, this Nestability um, butterfly set, and I'm gonna use the big one and then the next size down on the um, brighter pattern here and I'm just gonna have sort of one big butterfly embellishment I think that will um, that will work and then it'll also relate back to the other page which has some butterflies on it um, so first I need to adhere my my fabric um, this is just a, a piece of scrap paper I have it's actually uh, sketching paper not cardstock but it really doesn't matter for this. Um, and I have some double-sided um, adhesive. Let's see if I remember how to use this. Peel here, it says. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I want to get my paper. I don't need to use this whole sheet of um, paper, so and then I'll just cut this off. Save that for another project. just want to make sure that this is um, good and stuck. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and sort of burnish the top of my um, scrap paper. And now, if it worked, Peel this off and I can lay my fabric down. Let's do the big one first. I haven't ironed this so um, I might regret that. But I'm hoping I use my bone folder I can get out some of the major creases. can run that through my big shot. Let's get this other one down. Got some 
something under there. It's probably a thread. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So I'll get these die cut and show you what they look like. So there we go. I've got my two butterfly shapes cut out and I've got extra fabric um, left over. So I think I will add this into my, um, my kit of sort of baby girl supplies. Um, I'll keep them out on my desk just now in case I want to add little bits of something else once the layout starts to come together. So back to my layout. Um, I pulled um, a piece of paper from my stack of baby girl papers um, so that not everything in this particular layout is, is new. Um, I want to have some of these papers um, show up as the album goes through to, to keep that continuity. And then I have a stack of baby boy papers as well. Um, because there's so much blue in this, I thought maybe I could pull out a little bit and um, maybe just a, a border or I could punch um, some butterflies from these and add them. Um, so we'll see where that goes. For now though, I gotta work on this layout. And I don't think I want this quite as tall, so I'm gonna chop off uh, maybe an inch and a half. Or two inches. Whatever the case may be. And I'm okay covering that um, stitch line. I actually had a problem with the machine and so there's a bit of an error there. Um, I'd like to keep that raw edge showing though. And then I thought I could sort of layer these up a little bit. These are my husband's hands gives a bit of perspective as to how little she was at one point. Even though she was, she didn't start out little, she was nine pounds, four ounces when she was born. So she was never a tiny, tiny baby. Yeah, I think I need something along here. And then my butterflies. Maybe up here. overlap them a little bit but I do feel like I need um, a horizontal strip so let's look um, I think this stripe might work the best it's got a bit of the yellow in it this is an orange but um, we'll just pretend it's pink to three inches for now. I just want to see what this looks like. like that. Okay, so I'm going to get these paper elements adhered now and move on.
I'm going to fill in my journaling now. So I've got my big old calendar out. April. adhered the card yet. Uh, I've been playing around with some embellishments. I ended up die cutting a couple more butterflies. Um, I just wanted to, to bring that um, that color of fabric down to the bottom and I, I played around with a couple strips of fabric. Um, but it, it just wasn't coming together so I decided that um, I would just stick with the butterflies. And then um, I also decided to cut out a number two with um, a set of die cut alphabet numbers that I have out of that same hot pink fabric and I found some um, old jelly bean soup hot pink um, alphabet stickers I'm going to add in there and then um, once I get all that in I will look at some finishing touches something with a bit different uh, texture other than paper and fabric um, you know hard shiny that kind of a thing so let's get all this um, adhered since those are on um, paper they're actually really easy to stick to your layouts you can just use that regular adhesive I also decided to um, use the smallest of the butterflies in that stacked set and just punch a few out of the striped paper just so I could have it um, in another spot on the layout just so it's not kind of glaring in one spot only. When you have something that's um, repeated around the layout it actually makes it seem more intentional. looking pretty good. I was toying with the idea of adding some um, mist splatters. Um, yeah, you know what, I think I will. I'm going to grab my heirloom blue, which is a very, very dark, almost black, really. Okay, I'm gonna call that one done. So my challenge was to use fabric and I think I got it. And I got a giant spot of ink there. Oh dear, I've made it worse. Oh, oh, I think we saved it. Okay, before I make a further mess, I'm gonna call it done. And um, thank you for joining me. See you next week for another prompt. Bye-bye.